What's up everyone, welcome to the video. Today we are going over how to paint a rifle. So right now you are watching future me because the audio of what I originally recorded wasn't working at the very beginning and then it started working later on. So we'll get into that footage in a minute. But this is my video on how to paint a rifle. There is no right or wrong way on how to do this. This is my second iteration of paint of it. So we do have a little bit of tiger stripe going on with a little bit of extra texture here and there and like spots like that. Um, as you see, the LPVO isn't painted. The charging handle and the Magpul bad lever is not painted. So charging handle and bad lever came after the fact. So that's why they're not painted. LPVO, I decided not to paint just in case I do want to sell it because I'm still not crazy about it. But first time we did this, we did paint the optic. This might eventually go back on with like a flip up magnifier. Not completely sure just yet, but I'm going to shut up about all that and we're going to get into your footage of painting the rifle, but just when you're seeing it like right now and you see like the charging handle and stuff isn't painted, that's because that came after the fact LPVO, I just didn't want to paint just in case I want to sell it. Let's get into it. Shut up. Past me. So now this would be the time that you want to clean this. So if you have a brake cleaner or something like that, spray it down, get all the crud off of it. I'm not doing that because I kind of like the look when it gets a little worn out like this. So I kind of did this myself. Some areas did wear off like the uh, charging handle just from use, but stuff like this, I kind of made it, I kind of helped it along the way with the scotch Bright pad and whatnot, uh, cause I kind of like that look. So we're gonna go with this again. That's why I'm not going too crazy about cleaning everything off of it, but brake cleaner or just come up with the home remedy of stuff rubbing alcohol or like vodka and water or something like that just to get all the grease and contaminants off but like I said we're not doing that but you can do that so as you can see in this b-roll what I'm doing is basically just taping everything off that you don't want paint on pretty self-explanatory as you see I did the flash hider on the front the forward assist and then I did the trigger this is where you would want to do your optics if you have or laser aiming devices or anything like that flashlights and whatnot all the glass for your optics or like the front of your flashlight and whatnot pretty self-explanatory let's move on to paint also don't forget to either tape up your magwell or just throw an old magazine in there so that is the uh, one I painted with last time obviously you can see it matches and uh, that's the uh, New York 10 round special right there and also make sure your stock or brace or whatever is all the way out because you want to be painting the buffer tube as well because if you have it like that, you paint, extend, that's going to be original color, black or whatever color yours is. So all the way out. Last but not least, these are the colors that we're using. So this color, this is Nutmeg from rust -Oleum. This is basically dead on for uh, FDE. So if you have a Magpul um, Flat Dark Earth, this is almost dead on for that one. Found that by accident. Uh, this brown is warm caramel. Not completely crazy about it, but the reddish color kind of goes with the landscape out here. So I'm gonna go with it again, I think. This is the new color right here. So this is this is the uh, greenish, grayish camouflage one from Rust-Oleum. That's the new color that we're going with. This is the old green that I kind of hate. It is moss green. Probably not gonna use this one again. But main color is definitely gonna be this. Gonna go, I think, with this after that, then maybe dust it with a little bit of black. I'm not completely sure yet. I might leave out this color. Not sure yet, but let's paint. So the paint is pretty much dry, still a little tacky, but pulling the tape off and if it pulls off some of the paint underneath it, it's not that big of a deal because it just make it look a little more worn in, give it a little layer of tech, another layer of texture, but tiger striping it like this. Um, once again, this is just paint, so if you hate it, in the long run, you can just redo it, but just taking some painter's tape, tearing it, and putting it all over the rifle. So obviously your base layer is gonna be what's underneath these tiger stripes. So um, whatever you're spraying on top will be this empty area, blue area will be your base layer. This green is a lot better green for this, but I think the contrast between the tan FDE and the green is gonna be very extreme. So I might do a coat um, with some like textured material or whatever with this brown, just to give it, just to knock down the like contrast a little bit, I think. We'll see how it turns out when we finally pull the tape off. But we gotta flip it over, coat the other side, 
Gonna let it dry for a decent amount of time then. Then we'll pull the tape off and see where we're going from there. So I'm overviewing the video of how it looks after we took the tape off with the tiger stripes. Looks pretty cool so far. I think we're just gonna throw a little coat of this um, brownish, reddish, well brown color, but like this color over the top with a little bit of like fabric pattern. Do have a mesh that was my wife used in the garden that has kind of some holes in it or I do have like a rug pad. You can use a laundry bag also. I'm just gonna do something, do a light mist over it here and there to kind of knock down the contrast just a little bit. So I hit the side with the brown. I'm not completely crazy about that brown color, but this is how it came out. Got a little bit of a brownish hue to it, but you do have some texture in there. Um, so after I do it with that brown, since I wasn't completely crazy about it, I hit it again with that tan to kind of mute the brown a little bit. Other side, I just hit it with the tan to see how it came out. Um, I think I like the tan better, um, but once again, it's paint, so I just, I'll probably wind up redoing this again in another month or so, just, just to have a different look. But this is with just the tan. Got some nice texturing in some certain areas, up here also, down here, got some texture. And then just for reference again, this is with that brown. So it's coming out a little more like rust colored in the video. Um, according to what I can see on my camera right now, but mutes the contrast a little bit more by doing this, so that's why I went with it. You could completely skip that step if you want and just end with the little tiger stripe, or you could just find a different material to put over it, different colors. I was considering hitting it up with black just to like mute it down even more, like just a very light mist, but I wound up not doing that. Um, kind of happy with it, to be honest with you. So there it is with the optic on and all the tape off of it. Let me know what you think down below. Best thing about this is if you hate it, you could just redo it. Use different colors, different patterns, whatever you want. I know you can take like uh, leaves and stuff and put it over the top and just give it a misting to give it a little more like earth stuff going on with it. Kind of just up to you, whatever you want to do with it. If you want to get wild with it, you could do wild colors. Um, I know you kind of want camouflage for your area and whatnot, but let's be real, you're just doing it to make it look cool, maybe blend in a little bit better than if it was a black rifle. But worst case scenario, if you really, really hate it, um, you could always use like an oven degreaser or whatnot, lather that all up and get all the paint off. Do your best to clean it off, oil it all up, and you're kind of back to how you were. So once again, not the end of the world. There are spots that I didn't let the paint dry enough. So like, especially like here, didn't let the paint dry enough that was on there, so it kind of pulled some of the spray paint off, which kind of just gives it a little more uh, weathered used look, which I don't hate. This will wear in pretty cool over time. Maybe I'll even hit it with a scotch Bright pad to give it the fake used look, but end of the day, it's just paint. Got the optic mounted, like two Picatinny's back further, I guess. So it's a little bit closer to the eye for when you present your rifle, um, just to have that better eye relief. Other than that, zero should be pretty close, if not still the same. So I'll just obviously go confirm that at the range at some point. That's it. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button. If you learned anything, if you, if this is probably your like fifth video of how to paint an AR. So hopefully I taught you something different than the other guys. But other than that, kind of the same process as everyone else and just making it look cool, basically. Got that Call of Duty skin on it now. If you wanna help the channel out in any way, use the Amazon affiliate links down below, and uh, I will see you guys in the next one. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram as well. Peace out, stay strapped, or get clapped.